श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव देर आर फोर सोर्सेस of knowledge five four five the ultimate source of knowledge is called shruti mata not any lady here is there anybody shruti thank god so ved or the shruti mata is the ultimate source of knowledge the second one is smruti which includes puranas and also bhagavad gita the third one is the books of history the itihas itihas means iti thus ha was as this actually happened in the past many of us have got this wrong notion that mahabharat and ramayan are fictions no therefore they are called as itihas why they are so valuable and important because they have written exactly what has happened they were not the reporters who were purchased by somebody to write in their favor and again somebody no they has third then the fourth one is whatever our great masters have left the books for us sant vangmay the knowledge left behind by great teachers like bhagwan chakracharya madhva acharya ramanuja acharya and in the modern days bhagwan ramana maharshi etc okay. these are the four sources and shruti uh, rada smruti being the topmost so what is the ultimate in the vedas ultimate in the veda is called vedanta or upanishad and by upanishad what is meant upanishad shabdena brahma vidya uchyate brahma vidya brahma hi vidya is not brahma ki vidya so upanishad now we come to bhagavad gita at the end of every chapter you all must have heard or said इति श्रीमद्भगवद्गीतासु उपनिषत्सु ब्रह्म विद्यायाम योगशास्त्रे श्रीकृष्णाजुन संवाद पुरुषोत्तम योगो नाम पंचदशोध्याय तो द एसेंस ऑफ वेद इज उपनिषद 
and the essence of the Upanishads is Bhagavad Gita. Concentrated. So you have to be equally available. And the essence of Bhagavad Gita is the 15th chapter. And the essence of 15th chapter is you. Etar buddhva buddhiman syat kruta krutyascha bharat. See my friends. Therefore, when we study Bhagavad Gita, we must have a clear picture about the whole thing. Otherwise, we will be only talking. Do you know? Our Bhagavad Gita is the only holy book which has got maximum number of commentaries. In all other books, they have no commentary. Are we going to certify Bhagavad Gita as a great book or what? Are we giving uh, a doctorate to Bhagavan Sri Krishna, PhD? No. Therefore, we must know clearly how Bhagavad Gita came. Bhagavad Gita, trying to understand without reference to Mahabharata, will be a complete wrong approach. What Mahabharata told? See, in today's world, morning news becomes stale by afternoon. Our Bhagavad Gita is over 5000 years before. So it must be the complete stale stale. One person asked me this question, therefore I am telling you. How can you trust Bhagavad Gita, so old book? Today we are digital people. In today's world, if you have to describe what is today's world, the father is Google. And the mother is Amazon. And the children are not born, they are downloaded. And they are given the caller ID. And also they have got a password. To such a digital people, Bhagavad Gita is an old book. So when that man asked me this question, I said to him, I said, look here. Uh, during the time of Mahabharat, people were seeing by nose or by ears. He said, why are you asking this question? I said, no, I am answering your question. My rule is very simple. Ek sawal tum karo, ek sawal mahi karu. Har sawal ka sawal hi jawab ho. Now, those who have not understood simply laugh. There are two types of laughters, you know. When a totally deaf person is laughing, you can know, he's, he's laughing dumb. So, it is so important, my friends, to recognize. I said, during that time, people were seeing by the nose? No, by the eyes. Today, also by the eyes. That time, they were eating with the mouth. Now, do they eat with nose? No. That time people were walking on their feet. Today, are they walking on their head? Dirshasan? No. That time also there was confusion, desire, anger, greed, frustration, enmity. What is new? Friends, Bhagavad Gita is not addressing to a person belonging to a geographical area at a particular period of time. Like the science is not addressed. Like if you take law of gravity, should we say law of gravity discovered by Newton, therefore it should belong only to UK. So I am in Australia, I don't believe. Therefore, I go on the 20th floor and try to jump out. I don't believe in law of gravity. You not believe. Your in-laws will believe. 
ये माय फ्रेंड्स देर फोर भगवदगीता इज नॉट एड्रेस टू हिंदूज मनुस्मृति टेल्स जन्मना जायते शुद्र संस्कार बीज उच्यते वेदाभ्यासी भवेद्विप्र ब्रह्म जानाति ब्राह्मण बाय बर्थ वी आर ऑल डम यू डोट नो एनीथिंग दे संस्कार बीज उच्यते देन वी आर टॉट राइट फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड हाउ टू सीट हाउ टू टॉक एवरीथिंग स्लोली स्लोली सो दैट इज अवर सेकंड बर्थ so from the animals we are now entering the human life see okay. samskar how to talk to elders how to behave while taking food how we should use our hands taking both the hands like a tiger ho 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 rakshas everything is to be taught so that is our second birth then vedabhyasi bhavet vipra then thereafter we have to expose ourselves to the science of life not biological science science of life now what is the science of life be very attentive we are never taught by our parents by our teachers by anybody how to think the look within yourself have our parents ever taught us how to think never so when you are studying scriptures by scriptures don't become um, generous by scripture we mean straight away upanishad and ved no other thing don't become secular see therefore veda vyasi bhavet vipraha so we have to study the scriptures upanishad veda bhagavad gita etc and as a result of this study what happens you don't go to heaven or hell then you discover your divinity now and here there is no false promise of posthumous recognition if you die you will go to the heaven and there you will have lot of fun no taxes no bills no no that dumb thing is not there in our scriptures and therefore when we are talking about bhagavad gita reference is mahabharat and where this particular portion comes So this portion is very important to be known clearly. Bhagavad Gita is told by whom to whom we must know. Like if you have studied Ram Charit Manas, in Ram Charit Manas this thought comes. They call it four. A ma, uh, Manas means a Manas Sarovar, and there are four uh, banks on that Manas Sarovar. One is Karma Kanda. so from the karma kanda point of view ramayana is explained second is the upasana kanda from the upasana point of view ramayana is explained third is the jnana kanda where the guru is shiv ji and disciple is parvati and the fourth is sharanagati kanda wherein the devotee is totally surrendering to the lord's will and how it is possible this we come across in the words of hanuman ji when hanuman ji says deha buddhya tu dasosmi jiva buddhya tvam shakah atma buddhya tvam evaham iti me nishchita mati so this is the sharanagati surrender jo thari rahe so mari rahe no options no choices this is how ramayana is explained by tulsidas ji in four different ways same thing bhagavad gita so who told whom first bhagwan shri krishna spoke to arjuna 
first pair second is bhagwan krishna spoke and by the grace of vedam vyasa sanjay was able to know everything the our scripture tell you don't have hardware software separately they are together sitting in his own place he was able to know what is going on in details not only physical events but even what is going on in the minds of the people that quality sanjay was blessed by bhagwan vedam vyasa so therefore he heard it he knew everything the third pair was this sanjay telling to dhritarashtra three pairs and fourth pair i am telling you now after hearing from sanjay what happened to dhritarashtra when you hear something listen something what happened nowhere there is any mention because nothing happened oh he belongs to our category so many satsang we have heard so many mahatmas have come and gone and we sit as a challenge now up try maro ha huh? see friends so nothing happened to sanjay because he was blind then the second thing what happened to sanjay he himself says at the end of bhagavad gita tatcha sanskrutya sanskrutya rupam atyadbhutam hare i just think of that divine vishwarupa darshan of lord and i get so charged with joy and happiness and therefore his conclusion is also there see our conclusion is what oh it is okay he is a swami ji he can remain be happy be happy get married and show be happy no sanjay said that wherever there is wisdom and dynamism success and peace is bound to be last verse yatra yogeshwara krishna yatra parsva dhanata so these are the three uh, two of them now third was arjun what happened to arjun so be very attentive bhagwan krishna did not ask arjun at the end of bhagavad gita did you get the knowledge he never asked this question and arjun also never said that i got the knowledge because how bhagavad gita started his question arjuna's question was not that please give me knowledge i want to do meditation no arjuna's question was karpanya dosho pahata swabhava पृछामी ताम धर्म सम्मूढ़चेता यश्रेय सैदितम ब्रूहि तन्मे शिष्यस्ते हम शाधिमा ताम प्रपन्नम इट इज शाधी नॉट शादी साउथ इंडियंस डू दैट वेन इज ए शादी दे विल से शादी इन शादी दे विल से शादी शादी माम ताम प्रपन्न सो हिज क्वेश्चन वॉज धर्म सम्मूढ़चेता मीनिंग वॉट आई एम टोटली कन्फ्यूज and after having heard bhagavad gita bhagwan krishna asked kashchit ajnana sammoha pranastasthe dhananjaya he dhananjaya has your delusion gone or not and arjuna also says nashto moha smriti labdha kat prasadat maya chuta sitosmi gata sandeha karishye vachanam tava we also heard and if we are asked by bhagwan what happened to you after listening to bhagavad gita yes we tell nashta smriti moha labdha tat prasadat maya chusa sthitosmi gata sandeha no no gatosmi sthita sandeha karishe vachanam mama meri murgi ki ek hi taal after having studied bhagavad gita you have lost your right to be miserable 
Dear friends, don't go on crying, crying all the time. You know, give one. See, Amritasya Putra, we are here to express joy. See, what is the purpose of this mind? Without adding his noise, he should communicate my words to you, is it not? But you must have seen many times the mics, they also had the same problem beginning. The mic has its own electronic onkar. Or the mic, the throat goes wrong. So <coughs> what we will do such a mic? Remove it. Exactly the same way. We are here as his mouthpiece. How important that is. He wants to express through us. But we have got manufacturer's defect. Correct it. And for that clear understanding of Bhagavad Gita is Bhagavad Gita does not give you knowledge. Bhagavad Gita removes your wrong notions. We are all victims of four wrong notions. Five, four, five. One uh, notion about ourselves. Second notion about the world. Third notion about the spiritual practice. Kurute Ganga Sagar Gamanam Vrata Paripalana Matava Dhanam. These days I have been writing uh, on Kaivalya Upanishad. So one shloka came in my head, so I wrote it. Uttama Sahaja Vastha. Madhyama Dhyana Dharana. See? Adhama Murti Pujacha. And Tirtha Yatra Adhama Adhama. See, where are we? Friends, come back to yourself. Sahaja Vastha. We don't have to prove anything to anybody in this world. Our whole life is this struggle. The husband wants to prove that he loves his wife. So every time he comes from outside, he gives one flower. Keep it for tomorrow. I'll take it back. Don't try that. Be yourself. Relax. The day you don't struggle to prove anything to anybody, you have grown spiritually. So, wrong notion about ourselves, wrong notion about the world, wrong notion about the spiritual practice, wrong notion about God and the worst wrong notion about spiritual attainment. Fifteen chapter deals with these wrong notions to be removed. Today we are leading a notional life. We have to get out of this notional life and start leading the perfect practical life. Dear friends. And therefore, there are few topics in our scriptures. One topic is about this world. Second topic is about the God. Third topic is about spiritual practice. Fourth topic is about the soul. What is our understanding? Like per shoe there is a soul. In the same manner, per person there is a soul. Make a soul career and enjoy. There is nothing like soul. Get rid of that dumb thing from your head. You are divine. You are not a soul. Jabaradasti Hanji. And then the wrong notion about God. Now be attentive. Any topic you talk, like 
कामि ही नारी प्यारे जिमी लोभी ही प्रिय जिमी दाम जिमी रघुनाथ निरंतर प्रिय लाग हो मोही राम दिस इज आर दी से कंक्लूजन लाइक फॉर ए ग्रीडी पर्सन वेर एवर ही विल गो ही विल थिंक ओनली अबाउट मनी नथिंग एल्स सच ए बॉर्न कंजूस See that conjuice word which has got a juice that you don't get in English. Conjuice means come means less. Juice is a very dry person. One such conjuice fellow took his wife and two children for the first time in a big hotel. So the children were excited. We are going for the first time in our life. Our dad is taking. and they were so excited so they sat immediately four people were given four kinds of this uh, menu now this old man don't look at it you don't know anything have you come anything here no then you don't understand you took oh. then i will see and he saw and then he ordered four what four Uh, serial number sixty-eight, and four bislery bottles came. He was not seeing what is the item he is ordering. What is the cheapest one? Such people cannot enjoy life. When you go for a vacation, be very attentive. When you go for a vacation, you have a budget. and you go there to spend that money is it not not save karke wapas le aana no exactly we all have come in this world for a vacation life is a celebration not calibration kitna milta hai see so like a greedy person always think about only money 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 in the same manner our scripture tell whatever may be the topic every topic is aimed at bringing us back to our divine nature whether it is creation whether it is spiritual practice whether it is the concept of jiva the soul whether it is worshiping god discovering god finding out god or whether it is going to hell or heaven or it is realization of your divine nature here and now all of them are aimed at find out what is your essential nature so like for a greedy person anything anywhere he goes attention is only on money in the same manner bhagavad gita will help us to bring our attention on our divine nature all other things are separate therefore now the next topic important bhagavad gita we have seen who told whom and what happened that also we have seen now next topic is when was bhagavad gita delivered Bhagavad Gita was delivered by Bhagwan Krishna to Arjun before the war. Bhagavad Gita was told by Sanjay to Dhritarashtra on the tenth day of the war. He had Dhritarashtra known at the beginning of the war. what arjuna knew what arjuna knew before beginning of the war and what dhritarashtra did not know on the 10th day the 11th chapter in the 11th chapter arjuna saw himself before the war that all these people are killed and therefore bhagwan says nimitta matra bhava sabvisachi and therefore he has changed his attitude that i am going to kill this no nothing it is already killed killed in anticipation see and therefore he had no problem 
Nashto moha sruti lambda. He had a delusion that I am going to kill somebody. When he saw, oh, Bhagavan has already killed. I am killing the dead bodies. And therefore he had no problem. But what happened with Dhritarashtra? He came to know this on the 10th day. And when he came to know about Vishwarupa Darshan, it was too late for him to withdraw from the war. See, my friends. Otherwise, this question will come. When Dhritarashtra knew that all these big, big uh, warriors, they were entering in the divine mouth of the Lord and he was chewing them. In between his teeth, somebody's head is coming, somebody's leg is coming and he's taking his tongue out and um and chaba ke khao. When he saw that from the words of Sanjay, he would have totally stopped. But why he didn't stop? Because it was too late. See my friends. Therefore, we are listening to that Bhagavad Gita which Bhagwan Krishna has told to Sanjay before the war began. Remember this. Otherwise, we will be like Dhritarashtra. Many people tell us, Swamiji, uh, this knowledge uh, should have been given to the children. Friends, children are never a problem in this world. We, the oldies, are the problem in this world. See? Children are so sweet. They have no problem. We old people create all the problem. Do you know what was the age of these people at the time of war? Bhagavan Krishna was 89 years old. And Arjuna was 86 years old. Oldies only create wars. Children don't. So don't try to improve the children. Improve yourself. See, friends. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita tells us in this 15th chapter the ultimate. So, what are the stages? First, how to live in this world? Dharma Shastra. Karmande vadikaraste mafale shukadachana ma karma palahe turbu mate sangahastu akarmani. Kuru karma yotasmatvam. Therefore, you should do the karma, karma, karma. First part. Second part is when you are doing karma, your eye is likely to bloat. I have done this thing, I have done that thing, I have done that. I, 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 I. Open account in the ICICI bank. All the time, I, I. To get rid of this I. In the second part, which is called as devotion or surrender. So, what is surrender or devotion? Yad yad karma karo mi tattatakilam shambho tavaradhana. So, to dilute or remove this I, which was properly defined and designed in the first chapter, that has to be also removed. There is nothing like good thought and bad thought. Thoughts are useless. Similarly, a good person, bad person, it's nothing like that. Both of them, they have to discard their I. For that, the second chapter came. So, first is Karma, Dharma Shastra. Second is Upasana. So normally, where we are engaged in our life, there what we do, Karma to get something, Upasana to get our desires fulfilled. And by that, our I becomes stronger and stronger. And therefore, the third step comes. The one who is struggling in life, find out who is this I. And then you come to know, Naiva Manasam. There is neither mind nor I. And it is for this purpose, in the 15th chapter, the teacher takes up this theme. So, the first topic 
Bhagwan Krishna takes is what is this world? So we now enter this 15th chapter of Bhagavad Gita with this much introduction. I will say if you feel like you can chant. If you feel like not to chant, don't chant. Who cares? Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Bhagavan Chai Pi Gini Aya Kya? Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Cheating. You are not chanting earlier. Purdva Mula Mada Shakam. Ashvatam Prahuravyayam. Chandam Siyasya Paranani. Yastam Veda Saveda Vita. In one of my talk, probably while I was talking on Bhajagovindam, the Bhagavad Gita, Kinchata Dita, Ganga Jalalava Kanika Pita, while explaining that verse, probably I had mentioned, somebody told me, and she is following that. I said, please tell me what I told, I forgot. She said, you told, take a commentary on Bhagavad Gita published by Gita Press by Swami Ram Subdaji Maharaj. It is the most ideal commentary for you to study and understand properly. And then what is the process? Process is every day chant one chapter, second day, second chapter. 18th day, 18th chapter, again start from the first. Don't chant the same chapter every day. Anything you do mechanically, you are wrong. The charm of life goes. Whenever you do anything mechanically, your mind is not required to be included. See? Like those people who do the japa with the mala in their They keep on Never do anything mechanically in life. So we have to focus our mind on that. Therefore, read one chapter per day and continue. Don't try to memorize anything. No need. We don't have to show it to anybody. Then second step. Take the first chapter, first verse onwards, every day one verse. Read original, then read the commentary written over there. There have to close the book. Write the first verse in Sanskrit in your own hand. Dhrutarashtra vacha, dhru, dhru, aisa eki vaisa. Right. And thereafter, whatever you have <coughs> understood from that verse, you write down. In 700 days, your own commentary on Bhagavad Gita will be available. For God's sake, don't publish it. <laughs> because when you will again start reading, you will see, oh God, how dumb I was. It is not a history. It is a today also same thing. See? So when you do it regularly, slowly, slowly, like a bud opening into a beautiful flower emitting fragrance, will start happening to your own mind. I receive so many uh, WhatsApp. They write the whatever they are written by hand and then they take a picture and send. Then I read that. See, online realization. And one lady wrote me, Swamiji, it has definitely made a change in my life. Only two chapters I have completed, but what a change it has come. I said, what is the change? Even my husband is happy with me. 
highest achievement. See, to make the husband happy is impossible because husband cannot be happy because his hasi band ho gayi. Therefore, his husband is there. Cannot make him happy. Therefore, why I am asking you to chant is for this. Do not have fear when we see that long thing. Urdhva mula ma da sha kha ma sha ma sha 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 Try. See, about this I will tell you one important thing which happened in Ahmedabad. <coughs> one of my friend, he told me, Swamiji, you please come to our house. My sister-in-law wants to talk to you. So I went. Then she came and sat. Swamiji and started crying. She could not speak one word. So my friend told her, Bhavi, you go, I will talk to Swamiji. Then he told, her son is in um, maybe about 14, 15 years of age. He cannot talk properly, stammering, no confidence, no friends. He is all the time buried in his own frustration. So as a mother, she is so frustrated, what to do? I said, some simple man, bring him here. The boy came. I said, hey, repeat after me, okay? And I started chanting Vishnu Sahasranam. He said, repeat after me. And slowly he started repeating. I did not start the shlokas, but the Om Vishnave Namaha, Om Vashatkaraya Namaha, slowly small words. Slowly, slowly, I said, now you have to do it every day, at least once, complete. And by God's grace, he did it. Next year, when I went, he was on a motorcycle and how he wished me, you know, Hi Swami, how are you? I said, wow. <laughs> the one who was having zero confidence, you know, the secret is Sanskrit. See, Sanskrit is the only language which is well defined. In all other languages, there is no definition. Is only the sounds. See? So when you are chanting Sanskrit, all your organ of speech gets completely rectified. And for that purpose we insist. Chant. It will help you. So, Sri Bhagavan Vaj. Bhagavan is the one who is beyond the limitations of time, space and object. And therefore, when you translate this, like here it in Gita Press, Sri Bhagwan Vacha, Bhagwan Bole. Eh, Bole Bole nahi hai. When it is said, Sri Bhagwan Vacha, these are the words of Bhagavan, meaning they are not conditioned by time, space, situation, object. No, they are beyond all that. This is the eternal declaration. This is the meaning. Don't really take it simply. Acha Bhagavan ne kya kaha? No. See. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. If you change this, your understanding, then you will see you will have totally different experience when you study Bhagavad Gita. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. What he said? Urdhva Mula Madashakam Ashwatham Prahuhu Avyayam. It is said, Ashwatha is a tree, banyan tree. A means no. Like Shoka, Ashoka. So, A means no, Sho means tomorrow. That which is not the same tomorrow as it is today is called as Ashwatha. Meaning, that which is constantly changing is called as Ashwatha. And this Ashwatha Vruksha tree, it is a Vruksha. Vruksha means tree. Tree has to be cut. You cannot do anything else. You must have seen huge trees, they are just cut. So, 
वृक्ष बिकॉज इट इज टू बी कट नाउ वॉट इज द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ दिस वृक्ष ऊर्धवूलम अधशाखम द रूट आर अब एंड द ब्रांचेस आर बिलो वेन वी स्टडी स्क्रिप्चर्स बाय कीपिंग द डिक्शनरी विथ अस वी विल एंड अप इन कन्फ्यूजन एंड क्या अब मीन्स वॉट Above means not like you know I am sitting above and you are below. That is not the meaning. Above means the cause is above the effects. The urdhva moolam adhashakam. That which is the cause of this world, this world is what constantly changing. Urdhva moolam adhashakam and ashvatham rahu avyam. So this is the story of the world. Now, if we understand this in letter and spirit, what does it mean? We will not get unnecessarily worried. You know, I don't know what is going to. Many old people ask this question, Swami Ji. What happens after death? Please don't quote my example anywhere. What happens after death? Are you aware when you are alive? Has anything happened? when your presence has no impact the consequences in this world your absence is equally the same okay we know our parents we know our grandparents some of us know may know great grandparents go to the fourth fifth generation do you know do you want to know about them no because insignificant meaning what our earlier absence has made no difference in this world our posterior absence after death will make no difference in this world when earlier and later absence makes no difference what difference it makes by our presence but we think because of me the world is me okay urdhva moola madashakam ashvatham prahu avyam and this has been the story always the same no change so here two principles are brought out one is principle of change and second is that which is supporting all the changes without undergoing any change that avyam i'll take you straight away to yourself this is very simple technique not difficult our eyes are seeing all colors and forms red color is seen eyes don't become red green is seen eyes don't become green yellow is seen eyes don't become yellow a woman is seen eyes don't become feminine man is seen eyes don't become masculine eyes are seen the children they don't become childish because they are only illuminating they don't change so if we want to get rid of the impact of changes what is required come back to the source and if we start living at our vision level world colors and forms will have no impact on us go deep within see friends urdha moola madashakam अश्वत्थम प्राहुरव्ययम देन छंदांसी यस्य वर्णानि छंदांसी मी स्क्रिप्चर्स वेद उपनिषद सो द विजडम अबाउट दिस वर्ल्ड इज कंटेंट इन आवर स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड दे आर द लीव्स वर्णानि मीस लीव्स सो बी वेरी अटेंटिव इफ ए ट्री हैज नो फ्लावर्स डजंट मैटर इफ द ट्री हैज नो फ्रूट्स डजंट मैटर but if the tree has no leaves it matters the beauty of a tree is not because of the flowers or the fruits the beauty of the tree is because of the leaves exactly the same way the beauty of this life is the scriptural authority on the basis of which we conduct our business of life then dam si yasya parnani now turn uh plants eat from below grow upward 
animals eat from the front grow backward see the sequence eating from below growing upward eating from the front growing backward human beings eat from above grow downwards what is the next possibility eat from back grow forward no so as regards body is concerned we have reached the acme the ultimate so this urdhva mula madha shaka is not this world urdhva mula madha shaka means our own gross body gujarati see urdhva mula we eat from here and then grow downward sideward and this is also same thing ashwatham constantly changing and all the changes are supported by the unchanging substratum yaha tam veda saveda vid he who is able to recognize that all the changes are supported by a changeless reality and just you go within yourself nothing to see outside so colors and form change no impact on the eyes are the same now apply this example to all the five sense organs sounds change ears are the same now the smells change nose is nose is the same then the sense organs close mind is the same mind has got likes and dislikes but when you go to the eye the principle of wisdom or the discrimination it makes no difference to the mind and when this i we come then we come to discover this i is available sometime not available sometime but we are ever the same yaha tam veda saveda vid see where from we started we started inquiry about the world where did we end up in our self so the rule is very simple all the changes are supported by a changeless reality so is it not our experience in the second chapter bhagwan says dehi no smin yatha dehe kaumaram yauvanam jara tatha dehantara prapti dhirastatra namuyati the child root comes and goes the teenage comes and goes the middle age comes and goes don't go further it's enough old days we will also go so when we have given up three bodies nothing happened to us why worry when the fourth body is given up you are the same yaha tam veda he who knows this principle which is supporting everything childhood mid teenage middle age therefore dheeras tatra namuyati wise people they are not miserable because of two things old age and death one step further we never suffer because of death we suffer because of the old age our death is the only karma we do because of which others suffer suppose i die here are rama ab kya kare inko i'll be relaxed is your problem see friends yaha tam veda saveda vid so no yourself therefore topic is what topic is the world and where did we end we concluded in ourselves now continuing the thought further bhagwan says in the next verse adashchordham prasruta astasya shakha guna pravruddha vishaya pravala adashya mulanya nusantatani कर्मानुबंधी मनुष्य लोके अदश्य ऊर्ध्व प्रसृता तस् शाखा तस् ऑफ दिस ट्री द ब्रांचेज आर गोइंग अप एंड डाउन एंड 
guna pravruddha. They are growing because of these three guna, sattva, rajas, tamas. Now see what is our life. Our life is we want things tamoguna. We want to be active all the time rajoguna. And we want to know some other people's business. Guna pravruddha. Therefore, I told you our Maha Mantra. Deko, suno, mat bolo. No need to know anything about anybody. It is so important. Guna pravruddha, vishaya pravala. And what is your life if you have to write your biography? What will you write? Bhagavan Shankaracharya wrote for us. Balastavat krida saktaha. Taruna stava taruni rakta, Rudda stava chinta sakta, Parabe brahmani kopina rakta. I want this, I want this, I want that, I want that. Are Ram Ram Ram. Enough, enough. Vishaya pravala. All the time attracted towards the worldly objects. Remember these two things possessions and relations is the expansion of your samsara. You must have read many biographies. In their biography, you see what is written there. I was born first bluff. Who has the experience of birth? Somebody tells that, you know, your birth date of birth is so and so. One girl, she uh, asked me, Swamiji, what is your date of birth? So innocent, like this sweet girl who, who garlanded me. So I said, why you want to know? No, I just want to know. I said, okay, I'll tell you, but don't tell anybody. Promise? Yes, I want to know. And then uh, she told her mother, Mommy, Swamiji told me date of birth. You said he never tells his date of birth, but he told me. But he also told me, don't tell anybody. But of course you are mommy, I had to tell you. Because how cute. And then she said, Swamiji told, this is my date of birth. And for a change, the mommy was intelligent. And she said, Peta, he has cheated you. How come? What date he told? 31st April. Then, there is never 31st April. Oh God, he cheated me. Okay. I will also cheat him. And she sent me a happy birthday card. How many happy birthday? Whenever it is. <laughs> How cute. And at the end, now guess who am I? And name and address. <laughs> See? We all the time, I was born there, then I studied there, I went there and Are Rama 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 Rama. Our life is only one quarter we talk about. We are in waking, dream, deep sleep and samadhi. But we take only the waking experiences as our life. When conclusions are drawn on incomplete data, those conclusions are not valid. And when we are told, uh, this is my date of birth, who knows? Mother doesn't know, the father doesn't know, the nurse doesn't know, nobody knows. The child also, of course, doesn't know. And not only that, they also have the time of birth. Observe this. Except Bhagwan Ram and Bhagwan Krishna, nobody is born on round figure. 937. Or? Do you think? That nurse was waiting. Whether the tail comes or the head comes. This question I ask one nurse. I said, sister, please, uh, this is for my general knowledge because I am a Babaji, I don't have anything about this. So uh, for my general knowledge, tell me. Always the date of, uh, the time of birth is always odd figure. 9.59. Then she said, uh, Maharaj, I will tell you truth. 
if we ride straight away, at a time of about eight o'clock, they doubt us. And when an odd figure is given, seven thirty-nine, ah, they did it. And on the basis of that, they prepare the kundali. Height of foolishness. So, adashchordham prasruta tasse shaka guna pravrudha vishaya pravala. If we are to write our biography, we talk only about our waking experiences. And what are those? Only what are my possessions and what are my relations? That's it. Guna pravrudha vishaya pravala. Then adashya mula nanu santatani. And then we keep on talking about last life, this life, next life. There is one... A great yogi Mahatma, good friend of mine. I don't know if he's still there or not. One day we were in Mumbai, Somaya College. My talk is to be first, and then his talk. He talks only on yoga. So he used to tell me, Swami, for your talk, so many people come, but then when I talk, there is hardly anybody. I said, you know, this yoga is not for any Tom, Dick, and Harry. It is only for someone special. No, I also. Think दिल बहलाने के लिए गालिब ख्याल अच्छा है। Then he said, I know my seven lives. In last life, I was in Jabalpur. Before that, I was in Dehradun. Then there he went on telling. And seventh life, I was a parrot. I know everything about the past. If you want, I can tell you about you also. But if you want, I said I also know. Really? What? Last life I was a donkey. Now also I am. Friends. <laughs> Therefore, adasya urdham prasurta tasse shaka guna pravrda vicheprava adasya mula nanu santadani and then. Mula ni anusandata. We are so much rooted in this. Karmanu bandhini manusha roke. Be attentive. You must have seen a big water vruksha. A banyan tree. The main trunk. We hardly are able to see. Because all the adventitious roots. They spread so much. That we don't know. Which is the main trunk. Because so many of them. In the same manner, we are so much lost in doing this, doing that, walk, walk, walk constantly. And our main trunk, kastvam koham kutamayataha, kate janani kathmata, nobody knows about it. See? And therefore, karmanu bandhini manusha loke. So only human beings have this freedom to do karma and go to hell or heaven. Once I was seeing uh, some uh, animal planet, etc., in somebody's house. So one small little child was sitting with me. And the tiger was running after the deer and finally he jumped and caught hold. So the child closes. Swamiji, um, close, I can't see, I can't see. I said, okay, I see you, child. Close? I said, yes. Nothing. Thank God. Swamiji, the tiger will get seen, is it not? He has killed that small little deer. How cute it was. Remember, animals do not get seen or merit because they don't have the sense of doership. Where you take food. I have taken food, then there will be seen and merit. But when the food goes inside and you get into constipation, what is that? It is a merit. And if you get dysentery, oh, it is a sin. No. Because in digestion, the eye factor is not involved. But in eating, eye factor is involved. As regards animals are concerned, they have know that they are hungry, they have to eat. That's it. See? Shariram kevalam karma kurvan napnoti kilvisham. Bhagavan says that if you are hungry and if you want food, 
the desire for food born out of hunger is not a sin but i want a particular type of food not anything else your sin factory begins karmanubandhini manusha loke and therefore such people like us they are tied down in this world manusha loke therefore punarapi jananam punarapi maranam continues friends there are three lives in this set one is the tiryag yoni the lower life wherein they have got only bhoga yoni second is the higher life the deva yoni they also enjoy but they have no choice to go beyond enjoyment only as a human being we have an option whether we want to continue to be in this wheel of birth and death or we want to get out of it take a tangent and go out this option is given to us but what happens karmanu bandhini manushya loke but we are caught up in this world so much that we think our life is only this much <coughs> think beyond it is for this purpose our scriptures tell us now see what happens when you start thinking about any issue i am not telling worrying thinking most of the problems are born because of erroneous approach to the situation think cool and then you will see there is no problem problems need not be solved by proper inquiry and understanding problems are dissolved so here the teacher takes up this approach this is such a beautiful way in the third mantra narupamasse hatatho palabhyate nanto na chadir na cha sampratishtha ashvattamenam suirudha moolam asang shastrena drudhena chitva asya jagatah of this world rupam ih na tatha upalabhyate whatever we have described now see the beauty of this of bhagavad gita first two verses the world was exhaustively explained then because it is explained exhaustively don't try to search this world which has got the root above god has created this world and it is expanding like this thing. no 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 na rupam asya itha yah upalabhyate it means vichara kale when you inquire then you come to know what is being spoken is not of this world what is spoken about ourselves extremely subtle narupam asya tatho palabhyate what are the world it was created it has grown it dies so here the teacher say narupam asya tatha upalabhyate that means there are branches above below there is bhur bhu swa mahajanata mahasatyam atala vitala sutala tala tala rasatala mahatala the 14 worlds are there and if you do this thing you go to hell and heaven friends there is one uh, phrase in our scriptures when we study there is called a tatparya nirnay tatparya nirnay in english means the moral of the story what is the moral of the story we have to understand don't get carried away by like you must have seen many times you know these uh, very hitopade stories there was a um, a uh, fox and there was a crow and then the um, crow was invited by the fox to please come to our place uh, we will have uh, soup and then the crow goes to the fox's place and then the fox being a fox he gives the um, uh, soup to drink to this crow 
in a flat plate. Now the crew tried. He can't. Then the crow said, thank you so much. You please come to my place. We will have there also nice soup. And then the fox goes there. And then the crow gives the soup in a test tube. <laughs> <laughs> so when this was told, question comes. How the fox and the crow, what language they were talking? <laughs> Now, if you come, such wise people are around you. <laughs> Remember, your prarabdha is surfacing. Friends. <laughs> so, Tatparja Nirane means what? When something is said, what is the purpose? Why is this said? See? So, here, Iha, inquire. When the world is created, I told you just now. When the world is created, the world is created when we are awake. In deep sleep, where are we? Number one. When are we? Number two. What are we? Number three. All three disappear. And what is the world? Only three factors. See? Vijasyan tarivankuro jagadidam prang nirvikalpam punaha maya kalpita Desha Kala Kalana Vaichitra Chitri Krutam World is nothing but this three, a matrix of three factors. Desha Kala Vastu. So when we talk about this world, we are not talking like a ignorant people. I see the sun is there, the moon is there, and the earth is there, and the earth is running around the sun, and blah blah blah. This is baby talks. You know, there are few years before, there was one uh, buzzword going on. That time I was in London. They asked me, one of my friends, Swamiji, what is your opinion about the God, uh, God particle? I said, I don't talk on stupid topics. He said, how do you say? I said, what is God? God is infinite. I said, what is the fraction of infinite? Can there be a fraction of infinite? It cannot be. When you talk about God particle, because all the scientists are objective in their approach. And therefore they go on talking about the sky and the space and all that. But find out where is the space. And then we come to know the space is nothing but an imaginary projection of the mind. When the mind is enfolded and we put below our pillow and sleep, then where are we? See friends, therefore when we talk about the world, technically, world means time, space and object. You do not use these three parameters and then try to talk about the world, you cannot. So what we say, I was born in uh, Jumri See, when I was born, I was born in 1947. Then, where you were born, I was born in the uh, Kachori Galli. So, time, space, object, beyond that we cannot go. Now, discard these three parameters. Which, what we do in deep sleep. And therefore, that which is not available eternally, all the time, is an illusion. All the wealth that we had in our dream, when we are out of the dream, do we regret, oh, I could smuggle that money, it would have been so good. No. Because it is temporarily available. Now apply this thing yourself. Our childhood, is it all the time available? We may become childish. See? Therefore, my friends, Narupa Maseha Tathopalabhyate what we are spoken, that this world is created and then this world grows and blah blah blah. Nothing. There is nothing like this world. Na anta na adi na madhya. Now find out. Do we have adi beginning experience? What is the meaning of experience of beginning? 
that which is not earlier and started is called as a birth. We don't have the experience of birth. Nobody can have. Second thing, we don't have the experience of growth. Madhya. It is the grace of the society. Then a young girl is told by a child, Auntie, what is the time? Don't call me Auntie before everybody. Call me Didi. Call me Buddha. And if an old man is told by the granddaughter, Dadaji, Dadaji, let us go. Don't call me Dadaji, call me uncle. The reason is they are not wrong. Nobody has the experience that we are born, we are growing. And also we don't have the experience of our death. And the ultimate, we don't have the experience of our absence. Therefore, Ashwatthaminam suvirudha mulam. But this notion that I am body, then this world is real, suvirudha mulam has become so firm that we started taking this world as real. Then what is to be done? A tree, if you want to cut, you cannot go with a peacock feather and I want to cut the tree. No. Asanga shastrena drudena chitva. See, take a proper axe and hit with strength and commitment. Even more deep point has been done. Attachment is an illusion. So what is said here? Asanga shastrena Drudena Chitva, with firm determination and dispassion, destroy this world. Means what? Don't have to do anything. Only come to realize attachment is an illusion. Are we attached to our body? No. Otherwise, even in the satsang, how can you sleep? What I see from here, you can't see from there. <laughs> I get Vishwarupa Darshan. It happens in many places, they have these meditation classes. And you must have seen very funny things, meditation classes. In uh, some retreat, when a man asked me this question, Swamiji, Oh, your meditation is very peculiar. Lights are on and anybody can come and go and you keep on talking. Oh, in our ashram, we have got different meditation. We have all the switch lights off and all that. Why this is? Because both the guru and the disciple can go to sleep. And when they are awake, the lights are on. Meditation is not done by Sangha Shastrena Dhridena Chitva, we are not attached to anything. Come to, just recognize this dude, you have to do nothing, zero spiritual practice. Just observe. Is our vision attached to any color and form? No. Are our ears attached to any particular sound? No. Because they are eliminating all the sounds. Whether it is a Ramanama or it is an abuse, both are heard by the same ears, not attached to anything. Our mind is also not attached to likes and dislikes because it is supporting both. The intellect is also not attached to any particular thing because it becomes manifest, unmanifest. And we support waking dream, deep sleep, samadhi. Where are we attached? So, I am attached is an illusion. This is the meaning. Asanga Shastrena Dudena Chitva. The more you become contemplative in your understanding, you will see all these problems dissolve. Therefore, problems cannot be solved. They have to be dissolved. 
problems are because of the wrong thinking they can be dissolved by correct understanding other than our bhagavad gita or upanishad or vedanta everywhere there is a replacement of the notions earlier the world was bad now it is good earlier the world was bad no 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 in calcutta i was in some marwadi family went for a lunch or dinner very nice big house and the moment you enter there was a nice bhagwan krishna's uh, temple big statue so when i went there and then uh, namaskar chamatkar and then the old man of the house 19 not out came and says a typical indian swami ji where are you from so wisdom is you should know when to tell what then i saw there krishna bhakta the only man is there so to match with them i said i am from vrindavan acha i am from the one more namaskar i got vrindavan there after he said uh, maharaj vrindavan has changed so much in last 40 years is it not i said babu ji please come there was a you know sink to wash hands as come here and there the mirror i said babu ji look into the mirror <clears throat> what 40 years before it was the same thing world is changing you are also changing if you take your cell to be body but we don't have that experience that i am changing somebody has to tell us budav chup raho na <coughs> therefore here the teacher says narupa masriha tatho palabhyate dhanto na chadi nad sampradishta do not deceive yourself that i am attached to anything or anybody you have to say that like what karnataka in the morning class we have seen when a actor he is on the stage and he comes there and then the girl comes and his boy says honey darling i was waiting for you for last seven lives finally you have come okay this flower for you i got with great difficulty stolen from the next door to you so when he is telling honey darling i love you that time also he also knows he doesn't love her and she also knows he doesn't love her he he doesn't love me but the audience to look at fir kya ho gaya hai bio ko okay my friends asanga shastre na dude na chitwa do natak how to do natak what are you doing now as if listening Waiting, cut the video, or not? I was told you have to keep them engaged for one and a half hour. It is not my fault. You are that Swami Ji. Now you suffer. What can I do? Asanga shastra ne dhude ne chitwa. Don't get entangled in this world. Shatra, mitra, putra, bandho, ma kuru yatnam vikra sandho. Our Mahamantra. किसी को आओ मत कहो किसी को जाओ मत कहो किसी को आओ मत कहो डोंट क्रिएट फ्रेंड्स किसी को जाओ मत कहो डोंट क्रिएट एनिमीज लाइफ रिमेन्स वेरी लाइट अदरवाइज वी आवर सेल्फ क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम इन अवर लाइफ देर फॉर वी हैव टू गेट आउट ऑफ ऑल दिस कंसेप्चुअल एग्जिस्टेंस बिकॉज फॉर हू विद संसार for the man there is no samsara now the same man he has now taken few conditionings on him first conditioning he has taken his father so out of the man a son came out then he has taken the second conditioning of his wife then from the same man a husband came out then the same man has taken the third conditioning his own son then from the same man a father came out has that dumb fellow became three 
And who is miserable? Man is never miserable. The son is miserable because of the Hitler father. The father is miserable because of the crazy son. Etc. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The more you become clear about this thing, don't get too much involved with anything or anybody in this world. And therefore, how to live in this world? Like when we go for a vacation. We go, have a nice place, we have our hotels booked, or Airbnb and we go and see everything, hello, hello, and we take the addresses, etc. And when we come back, I lost it somewhere, never mind. Don't create friends and enemies in this world. Be friendly to everyone. Advesta Sarva Bhutanam Maitra Karuna Evacha. Maitra means be friendly with everybody. Asanga Shastra, this is the meaning of Asanga Shastra in Dhradena Chitva. So always we have to keep this in our mind very clearly. Don't get entangled with anything or anybody in this world. Then you will start living in meditation 24-7. That is called as meditation, that is called as realization, that is called as a devotion, that is called as love, that is called as fulfillment in life, whatever name you give. Because you are 100%. There was a child and uh, her uh, mother was a very mod mod kind of mother. So she was reading. Came sadly chains. And um, the girl said, daughter said, Mommy, Mommy, I want to ask you a question. Don't you see, Mommy is studying. James Henry is going to be a And once, twice, thrice. Finally, the child doesn't have patience. She comes and puts her hand around the mother's cheeks. Mommy, look at me. And then she says, Mommy, is there life? I know what foolish questions you ask. There is no life after death. Mommy, that is not the question. Then what is the question? Is there life after marriage? Friends, now what that child was wanting? 100% attention. That's it. Whenever you are able to live 100%, you are realized. In our Tripura Rasya, in the 18th chapter, if I remember correctly, very distinctly, Hema Lekha tells Hema Chud that every one of us go through the Nirvikalpa Samadhi every day, dozens of times. Alas, we do not recognize this is the Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Waking we understand, we recognize. Dream we recognize. Deep sleep we recognize. But Nirvikalpa Samadhi is this. We don't recognize. And therefore, although we go through that divine experience, yet because of lack of recognition, we are lost. See? In London, Somebody wants to come and pick me up from the airport. So the neighbor told, uh, you, be ben, uh, you be at home, I'll go and pick up Swamiji. I'm free. He said, but you don't know Swamiji. What is there to know Swami? I know they all are there. I got which is the dress, I can understand. Don't worry about it. So he came to the airport. And then in every flight, there will be half a dozen Swami. <laughs> <laughs> and then one person, they are not coming together, so Agi Piche. So one Swami came, so he came with the garland and Swamiji, please come. Uh, I'm sure you are Swami Anuharanda. No. No. 
you may have not let me back. <laughs> See? Then, uh, is there some, there are three, four of them are there. But he has never seen me, he never knew me. Exactly the same way. We all go through the Nirvikalpa Samadhi. But because we have not recognized, we have not known, although we go through the divine experience, we continue to suffer in that. And technique is Bhagavad Gita. Asanga Shastra and Dhrudena Chitva only come to realize this. We are not attached to anything in this world. We may say elderly people that, oh, childhood is so good. You are the children. They have got only one dream. When I become grown up, I will uh, drive a garbage truck. You must have seen, most of the children have that, you know, a aim of their life, you know. One child I ask also, hey, when you want to become big, what you want to become? So his mother was very kind, anxiously meeting. What you want to do? Swami I want to drive a garbage truck. Then I look at his mother. <laughs> <laughs> he is not interested in remaining as a child. He wants to be grown up. And all these days, hote bache naam hamara the dablu bablu khane ko milte laddu. Friends, Recognize this principle and whenever you are happy, you are not attached to anything. Whenever you are miserable, you are stapled to something. So find out and discover. Om Purna Madaha Purna Midam Purna Purna Mudachate Purna Sya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Yodamaha Hari Om